today I'm making teeny tiny birds. Some simply required. Hello! <laughs> I have sort of a short video today. I'm going to be making tiny little birds to match with a birdhouse that a friend of mine has. She said, you know, it would be really cute in this birdhouse that I got. Tiny little birds. So that's what I'm going to be making today. I will be felting them and they will be tiny and difficult, but I think I can do it. <laughs> Let's find out. Now, the first thing that I have to do while I'm making these birds is to make the bird shape out of the core wool. So the shape that I'm trying to make is kind of a teardrop shape with a, sort of a fatter end at the bottom uh, to make the bird head also. Now, the house that these guys are trying to match with uh, has a particular size opening. So these guys are trying to be one and a quarter inches tall, so they're not too, too, too big to get in and out of the opening if they want to hang out inside. So I'm just trying to make sure that they don't get too big. Another thing that I'm doing is adding wire for legs so they can sit a little bit more naturally and everybody doesn't need to be lying down. I think that will be cute. And poof, now I have four. The next step is I'm going to make the cardinal. I'm just going to cover everything with red to start out. I am making a teeny little skinny tail poking out, putting a little black on the wings, a little black on the face, it's sort of a triangle shape, and then adding the beak and some eyes. Also on their head, I'm adding a tiny little, sort of a mohawk. That's what cardinals look like to me. So next I'm going to make a girl cardinal. So she's going to be more of a gray color. And then she has a tiny little black triangle on her face. It's not quite as big as the, uh, the male cardinal. And I'll use a little bit of red on her wings to give it a little highlight, a little pop of red. Then I'll give her a beak and I'm doing another little mohawk right on her head so she matches. There, a cardinal couple. The next bird is going to be based on a kind of a bee eater. This one is trying to match with the carpet, I guess, in the room that the little birdhouse is going in. There's sort of a green and a gray, so this, this bird ended up being sort of a similar color scheme, so that's why I picked this guy. Also, he's kind of cute. So he's got sort of a lighter green wings and a darker beak. And there he goes. He kind of matches with the room. For my final little bird, I'm going to do sort of a kingfisher type of a thing. So the last bird wanted to be sort of bright and... Uh, vibrant and exciting looking and I was flipping through pictures and I said oh my goodness this bird is so cute he's got orange on his tummy and then like dark blue and bright blue spots and streaks and stuff and you know I just think that kingfishers look pretty cool so I'm giving him some little dots and shapes and he's got a really big beak and he has uh, sort of a funky crest on his head that I thought looked pretty cool once you have the basic songbird shape down, you can add any kind of details that you want. You could make a chickadee or a robin. They're all kind of a similar shape. Just add a different sort of tail and different feathers, and you'd be surprised how many different birds you can make with the same shape. And I really like the way that their little feet turned out. They stand really nicely. Except for the bee eater. He likes to do what he wants. It's so I think they turned out really cute and I don't think that they're too fuzzy which I was a little worried about because teeny tiny things tend to be hard to really felt tightly. For me anyway there are people who are magical with that sort of thing but I think that they turned out really cute. I think that they're gonna match really nicely with the tiny house. I hope. And they were really fun to make. I don't make a lot of birds because they're teeny but look it's a new little friend. Mm -hmm. 
So if you liked this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of thing and you'd like to see more, make sure that you click subscribe underneath the video and click the bell so that you hear every single time new videos come out. They come out on Tuesdays. Thank you, Cardinal. So until the next video, we are going to be hanging out, delivering our Cardinal friends to their forever home and having lots of fun. So until the next video, have lots of fun and we'll see you then. Bye.